So Dr. Yu is about the science of mind-body self-healing. So this antibiotic overprescription that you hear about so much these days, that's just the tip of the iceberg, tip of the too much medicine iceberg. Modern medicine is really wonderful. I mean, I've used it, you've used it, we all use it. I want to use it, I want more research on it. But one negative side effect of modern medicine is that we've become too reliant on it. So the book explains how instead of reaching for the pill or the surgery as the first line of first option, you can do a lot of things by yourself. Your body heals by itself no matter what you do. Your body regenerates itself. Your skin is new every three weeks, roughly. So these things happen whether you like it or not. And you can do some things to enhance that self-healing ability, including relaxing, simple relaxation exercises. These things can put your body in a state where, they, where it re regenerates itself. Placebos in are used in clinical trials and some patients in these trials take placebo pills or placebo injections and some of them get better as much as they would have if they took the drug. So you don't need a placebo pill to induce a placebo effect. It's enough just to have a positive suggestion. So if, if a doctor or for even friend you trust says you're going to feel much better, this causes your body to produce its own drugs such as endorphins which just means morphine produced by your body. The other thing you can use without a placebo treatment is if a doctor just takes their, their time to express empathy, to take time to understand your problem and what it means to you, and to come up with a plan based on that understanding. This can have a similar benefit to drugs for many common ailments, especially pain, depression, and anxiety. So the section of the book about connections with other people. If you've got close connections to friends, family, and social groups, you can live up to five years longer on average than those who don't. Now we all know when you do something nice for somebody else, you feel good, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I think it's important not to single out doctors. I think we live in a culture of too much medicine. Patients put pressure on doctors for antibiotics. Managers put pressure on doctors to fulfill quotas. But they're also part of the culture and are part of the problem. But it would be wrong to blame them or point our fingers at them. We're all in this together.